In 480 BCE, in the narrow straits off the coast of Salamis, the fate of Greek civilization hangs in the balance as the Greek defenders face off against a vast invading Persian fleet. Welcome to the naval battle of Salamis, a clash that would define the course of Western history. Hello, and welcome back to Bite Size Military History. I'm Amish Smith, and today we're diving into the naval battle of Salamis in 480 BCE. It doesn't really do it justice to call it a battle. More specifically, it was the moment the tide turned in the Greco-Persian Wars. The story begins amid the Greco-Persian Wars, a series of conflicts between the Persian Empire under King Xerxes and a coalition of Greek city-states. The Persians, seeking revenge for their defeat at Marathon a decade earlier and aiming to expand their empire, launched a massive invasion of Greece. The Greeks, led by Athens and Sparta, knew they were outmatched on land. Their strategy? Lure the Persian navy into the narrow straits of Salamis near Athens, where their numbers would count for less. Sound familiar? With over 1,200 ships, the Persian fleet faced off against a much smaller Greek force of about 370 triremes. The strait's narrow confines would prove to be Xerxes' undoing. As dawn broke, the Greeks feigned retreat under the command of Themistocles. The Persians, sensing victory, pursued into the strait. It was a trap. The Greek triremes, more maneuverable and better suited to the cramped conditions, struck with devastating effect. Key figures emerged from this battle. Themistocles was an Athenian general whose strategy and deceit led to Greek victory. And on the Persian side, Xerxes I, a king watching his navy's destruction from a golden throne on the shore. The Greeks' tactical genius lay in their understanding of the terrain and their ability to manipulate the Persians into a disadvantageous position. Their triremes, equipped with battering rams, turned the narrow waters into a death trap for the larger Persian ships that could not avoid the vicious attack inside the straits. The aftermath of the Battle of Salamis set conditions for Greek victory in the war. The Persian fleet was decimated, and Xerxes withdrew much of his army back to Asia, marking the beginning of the end for the Persian invasion. Salamis wasn't just a defeat for Persia. It was a demonstration of the power of naval warfare and strategic ingenuity. Future commanders, from the Romans to modern warrior scholars, studied Salamis for its lessons on controlling the terrain and the element of surprise. So why does the Battle of Salamis matter? It saved Greece from becoming a Persian satrapy preserving the independent city-states that would foster democracy, philosophy, and the arts. And it's a testament to the impact of military strategy on the world stage, shaping the development of Western civilization itself. The naval battle of Salamis remains a powerful reminder of how courage, strategy, and a deep understanding of one's environment can combine to change the course of history. Thank you for joining me again today, and I'll see you next week. Thank <laughs> you.